Okay, you might be uh, just you too might much step, step down. Well, step down here, John, out from under that umbrella. Come on over here. Yeah. And now you can see it. Here she is, Tally Huff. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Beautiful. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's your international space station right there. Coming over the rockets, heading toward the moon. It's a beautiful sight. And you've got six human beings on that little point of light traveling at 18,000 miles per hour. Isn't it just amazing that we could tell you exactly when it was going to fly overhead? That really is rocket science, isn't it? And the Navy told us where. You bet. It's going to fly almost right through the moon. Look that's at right. that. Isn't that gorgeous? Take some pictures, folks. That's a very rare occasion right there. That's just a beautiful thing. Yeah, I already got it. T-minus 38 seconds and counting. Coming 38. up on the goal for auto sequence start. Oh my god, this is even cool. TLS handover. T-minus 25 seconds. 25 seconds. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical function. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Get ready! T-minus 15 seconds. 15. And the compression water system has been activated. We have a go for main start. Watch on it. It's going to go into the daylight here soon. Discovery is now 21 miles away from its launch pad and uh, 22 miles in altitude. Traveling there it is. Yep. 2,700 yep. miles per hour. Oh, oh, that's that's sweet. That, that is so cool. The three fuel cells are generating power and three auxiliary yeah, power units yeah, are producing pressure. In short, everything is performing well. There's Seth. Two minutes and seven seconds into the STS 131 mission. Booster officer in the Mission Control Center has confirmed solid rocket booster separation. All systems continue to so cool. function well. Uh, solid rocket booster separation. What you see now are the three main engines still burning. You can see it's headed down to the same trajectory, chasing down the space station. The system engines on Discovery's tail are now firing as well, providing the shuttle an extra boost into orbit. Engine burn will last one minute and 44 seconds. Trying to find it again. It's there. Discovery, two engines down. Tired there. Yeah. That that Discovery can now reach Merle in Spain should one of the three main engines fail. However, all three of those main engines are currently working so well. Cool. It's still there. Two minutes and 59 seconds into the flight, Discovery is now 79 miles away from the Space Center in Florida. That fast. 48 miles in altitude and traveling at 4,500 miles per hour. You can see some of the wind effects on the uh, shuttle as it climbs out. Some of the shear layers up there, how the wind is uh, tearing that column apart. So there's a lot of wind activity going on above the space uh, shuttle launch pad here. 
and they should be getting their sunrise about now, should they? Right. Many sunrises at the SDS 3131 mission. I think what we'll see here is as the sun rises, you're going to see it really react with this uh, smoke Feels color. You'll see yeah, it really some fantastic yeah, looks at the coloration. Holy cow, though, man, this is good. Discovery Houston, you are negative return. That means we can't... You can't come back to Kennedy now. Right? Yeah. Too high and too oh, fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center yeah. yeah. in the event of an engine failure. All right, failure. You getting that? Not any problems, yeah. however, as all engines are continuing to perform as well. You get a good view. Look at that. That is awesome. That is so cool. Are you getting that contrail? Yeah. And that's two to sixty-three miles. And it's one hundred eighty-one miles. Look at that. That is amazing. Yeah, you can see the the sun effects on the. Uh, I wish I could just watch like this. Uh, shovel's going through the orbit, through the uh, its trajectory right now. See how the sun's glaring on it? And that plume is fanned out because of the thinner air now. That is so cool. That was so fast. Uh, that the here in Mission Control confirms that, that the flash evaporator system has been activated by cooling to the shuttle system until the shuttle cargo the bay door is open and uh, double as radiators. Hey, is that already past the atmosphere? Yeah, this is about as good as it gets, folks, because we're awesome. almost going to see this thing to I mean, main engine cutoff, which is amazing. a little eight minutes that's into awesome. the flight. Very rarely do you see it that far down range. This is a perfect situation. It really is. Discovery, press to ATO. Should two of the shuttle's 39 engines fail after this point, it can still reach its base to the lower than planned orbit, as my call from Capcom Rick Stricko indicated. Discovery is now 5 minutes and 42 minutes, second to your flight. Op 3. Seven miles of altitude and 351 miles away from Kennedy Space Base. Discovery can soon make it across the Atlantic for an important That fast, too. Two, three, three main engines failed at yeah. this point. All in the performing well. Just hitting every one of their calls right on the money. Right Folks, that, that light is 400, 400, 400 miles away from you right now. It's, it's, not, yeah, you miles it's not gone, but it's behind the trees, so you can't really film it anymore. Discovery, Pat Tomiko. And that call indicates that Discovery can reach its planned orbit of 130 we'll launch. And while we're here, ladies and gentlemen, let's have another round of applause for our good friend, John McBride. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day.